Intel DG2's HPG will face NVIDIA Force RTX 3070 and AMD Radeon RX 6800. Intel recently introduced its first modern discrete GPU, the DG1 OS Max, for Tiger Lake laptops and select desktop configurations. During the previous Architecture Day event, Intel's graphics director Raji Qadri said the company would soon release DG2 or HPG graphics cards aimed at gamers and content creators. While we've heard of the Intel DG2 for quite some time now, a recent leak points to possible accelerator options slated to launch later this year. The information comes from several sources including at Haruke's 5719, at One Reiku, and at Hagatsu. Earlier it was reported that ZHPG could include up to 512 execution units, EU, or 4096 stream processors, SP, and that Intel is working on the possibility of increasing them to 960 EU. As you can see, the junior representative will receive 96 execution units, and the senior one, 512 execution units. Intel already offers a 96 EU accelerator as part of the DG1, so you can expect the corresponding DG2 version to be faster, get improved IPC and GDDR6 local memory instead of LPDDR4X. In addition, the 256, 384 and 512 EU variants will have versions with different memory sizes the largest of which is 16GB GDDR6 on a 256-bit bus. Judging only by the available specifications, the performance level of the top-end graphics card with 512 execution units is a potential competitor for the GeForce RTX 3060T, RTX 3070, as well as the Radeon RX 6800. While other features of this HPG DG2 are not yet available, it is known that the 384 unit model is likely to have 190 square millimeters die area. According to Intel, the DG2 will be manufactured in a 6 nanometers process at a third party facility, which is to be TSMC. It is not yet known what the names of these cards will be, but the company may stick to a nomenclature similar to Nvidia and AMD.